Now we're ready to lesson 15 of JavaScript for Active Design course. In this lesson, we will know the numbers in JavaScript and their methods. Let's go to the code and see what we have. First of all, I will create here, for example, uh, so in case we could know what is it, what is uh, going there, I will write here a script. Okay, I write script, and inside that script, I will write the element that we want to be done. Okay. Close it. Come here. I'll delete this and click. So here we are. So what we have only a click, a header click uh, with each CSS, with each CSS. So here uh, we will create, for example, document dot get element by ID, which is the ID header two two dot inner html equal then here we'll write the content that we want to do it so first of all let's define a variable a number variable let's call it x okay uh, and assign for example uh, a little number for it for example i'll see var x equal uh, 888 which is a number now this variable now is a number okay the first method we have here is to change the number to string so if I want to, to print that string I will write only x okay and it would be printed here so refresh great so it now uh, print that content which is x so let's know what is the uh, let's print it as I mean as to string to string this function I mean uh, change this variable type to string so now it's a string. If we uh, search about it with uh, type diff or type of, I'm sorry, then we close that. It will be strong string. I'm sorry. Okay. But if we deleted this to string, it would be of course a number. Great. Perfect number. Great. This is the first. Uh, method which is to string which is so useful sometimes you need it to know what type of string is that or I mean you need it to change that string that number to string to merge it with something also we have two fixed means if you have for example 888.099 example and you need to know the index of for example to index uh, x dot to index okay then you write here how many index you need for example zero it will print the uh, I mean what was the problem here's the problem here uh, what is the problem X did to index and you write for example how many elements you needed to be printed for example zero to it returns the number this mistake or what I'm sorry, it's two text. I see, make mistake. Two fixed. Okay, so it give you how uh, I mean, how many elements there, how many uh, number of letters there. Okay, so zero. It will not give you the element after the point. So it will give you. Uh, it will not give you the decimal numbers. But if you need, for example, two decimal numbers after the number we have it. Refresh. It will give you two numbers after the elements you have okay so if you need to round it or I mean to remove the dot after it just write zero so it will remove it it's useful with uh, money okay with financial money when you write a lot uh, I mean a big amount of money and you need it to put you or to give you the uh, number after the dot the decimal point the second one, which is to precision, okay? We'll see two precision, and we write, for example, if you write two, it will round it. It will try to round it. For example, here, it will say mm, what he did. Let's see zero, and see what it's gonna do. Refresh. Is a mistake. Mm, not zero. If you need it, it's not like the, the two fixed. You let it empty and it will show you 
the elements that you have it without any changes but if need if you need to change a little bit for example let's see one so it will returns the value we have it okay and well uh, I think round it it's it I think it has been rounded so it's eight 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 then has been rounded and uh, maybe it has been rounded it's it is ten e it's like it's a decimal I mean it's like a hexadecimal okay it's like the hexadecimal that returns the numbers like hexadecimal okay next method is value of so if you have for example here uh, a variable okay and you need to know what is the value of this so see value of to return the value that we have it we'll delete this one we don't need it and let's refresh and see what we have so it will returns the value that variable contains imagine that you have uh, many variables and you need to ensure from specific variable or you need to return that value uh, var variable value to another variable so you will say x dot value of then it will return you the value of that variable also sometimes you need to convert the variables uh, it's a string or something to numbers how could we that do that we could do it with a number function or a parse end or parse float how is that going it's going like to like the following so imagine that I have here a number and I need, for example, I have here, uh, let's see string. I will say here, number. Let's see here, here I have string. I will write string, for example, quotation, and I write tt3. Okay. So now, if we say what type of this, it will be string. Okay. Type of x, it will print string. Great. String. But when we write number, To number and we move it inside that parenthesis and we when we print it will print the number that it contains wait uh, it will print the content I'm uh, sorry not to number only number it will, now it will return the content which is uh, 333 uh, if we need to know what type is it it would be of type number why because we have changed that number that uh, I mean string to a number with this number value. The second one is um, int parse. Sorry, int int parse int maybe parse float and parse int. Okay, so when we parse float and parse int, it will be number two. So when we print it, it will print int or float. What is the difference between int? And parse float. Parse float. Parse float takes the decimal number, okay? But parse int only shows the uh, real number. So if we have here dot four four four, okay, and we say parse int, and we need only the value, it will show you the element that you have it without the, I mean the real number, not without uh, without the number after the dot, is the decimal. But here it will show you, sorry, pars float. Pars float will show you also the dot, the number after dot we have it. So if you are uh, dealing with money and you are caring about the cents and the small amount of money, you should use pars float. Or even if you are calculating some uh, important thing and you need that number to be large and uh, caring about the decimal number. The number after the point you should use parse float great okay so the next uh, function is uh, this is something called max value and min value so sometimes you need to know what is the max value in uh, javascript so that you could control which type you should use okay so the min value and max value show you what is the uh, limited that you are allowed to, to do. So I will see number dot max value max value. Let's delete that one. Save it. He will print for you now uh, what is the problem? Number 
max value yes let's assign it to the I think it's not function it's only attribute or what yes so this is the max value that is allowed for you to use it when you use uh, the number the min value let's see the min min value see it I think it's e zero no this is the min value and that is the max value maybe from left and right and we have negative value and positive value for example positive infinity which represents the infinity uh, when there uh, when there I mean overflow or something like that okay so this was about the numbers so sometimes you need to define uh, as we learned that the numbers is auto or dynamic defining so if you need to define a float number or a double number you should just uh, add the point and zero and it will be uh, changed to double or for float so it will be large but if you need it to be integer real number omit the uh, doing the dot and it would be like a uh, number normal number integer for example great so I think it's uh, easy for example the number when you calculate for example the I mean, string with number it will be string you calculate number of number to be number so if we create it for, for example I will calculate here uh, with 22 so we have here string and here is integer okay so to calculate them and you need them to be all of them uh, I mean a uh, number you should convert this to a number great so I will write here for example I will say number number and I will insert this inside it and now it will be calculated as number let's print and see what we have what type of value so we have 2 2 I mean 22 and uh, 333 so let's save it and see what is the result result is 355 so it's calculated them but if you uh, only calculate it like that without any conver conversion it will be like the following only string besides string so 333 then 22 no summation happened great so uh, thanks for watching and listening see you in the next lesson and bye for now